Hello everyone, my name is Scott Smith. I'm with Shade Smith LLC, located in Orange County, California. We are a distributor for Irvine Shade and Door, the home of the Slow Rise Roller Shade. Today I'm going to provide you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to properly remove your spring and auto stop that are found in the Slow Rise Roller Shade. The steps here are going to be the same for both a night only or a day and night shade. As you'll see, I have the spring laid out on the table to show the location, which is going to be the left side of your shade, and the auto stop is on the right side. To begin, you're going to need to remove the end bracket from the head rail. To do that, you're going to remove the black screw that is holding the end bracket to the head rail. You do not need to remove the dial, just the screw. To do that, I recommend putting it on a flat surface and as you'll see, I'm not using any special equipment, just a uh, Phillips head bit and a cordless drill. You can also use a screwdriver if you prefer. Once you remove the screw, set the screw aside because you're going to need it to reassemble the shade later. Now the next step, you're going to need a, a flat head screwdriver or another flat object. Here I have a butter knife, just as an example. But you're going to need to uh, separate the end bracket from the spring. To do that, you're going to place your blunt object on the outside of the spring, but on the inside of the bracket, and then separate the two parts. Once you've done that, you'll see that the end bracket will slide out of the, end, uh, the head rail, and you can completely remove it from the shade. Once you've done that, set the end bracket aside. Now you're ready to pull the spring out. So removing the spring, you just pull it straight out. Just be careful, it may be under tension so it may unwind quickly once you totally remove it from the tube. Now you can remove the end bracket from the right side of the shade which is attached to the auto stop. You're going to do the same thing as you did before using a flathead screwdriver or possibly a, uh, a but, uh, like a butter knife what I have here using the same technique just put the flat uh, object between the auto stop uh, on the outside of the auto stop but on the inside of the bracket and then separate the two now you've totally can remove the head rail uh, from the shade and there is no need to remove the end bracket on the auto stop side or the right side so once you have it removed just set it aside and now you can safely remove the auto stop. So now you're ready to reassemble your shade with your replacement parts. So starting with either the auto stop or the spring you can go ahead and reinsert uh, both the springs and the auto stop on the each end. Again, remember the spring goes on the left and the auto stop goes on the right. And you'll notice that each of the parts have uh, legs on them or grooves that line up with the grooves inside the tube. So when you reassemble it, just uh, gently insert the part, lining them up with the uh, grooves on the inside of the tube, and it'll easily go in. Again, here I'm starting with the auto stop. There's no adjustments or anything that's needed on the auto stop side. You'll do that later once the shade is completely reassembled. So now I'm going to go ahead and reinsert uh, the new spring and again you'll see the little legs on the end and then again on the middle and then on the very opposite end of the spring there are the legs that line up with the grooves inside the tube. Now that you have both parts uh, reinstalled inside the shade, you can go ahead and reassemble the end bracket. 
on both sides. I've already inserted the end bracket on the auto stop side, so now it's just a matter of lining up the end bracket with the steel dial that is uh, protruding out with the spring uh, that's inside the, the uh, tube of the shade. And you'll notice that the uh, end bracket's got these legs that go onto the head rail, so it's just a matter of lining that up and then inserting it completely. Once you've done that, you can now uh, reinsert your screw and once the screw is in you'll now be ready to uh, reset your tension for your shade again to do that you're gonna turn the dial on the left side again the spring side you're gonna turn that clockwise many times uh, especially to start you'll probably want to turn it 10 or 15 times my recommendation is once you've tur uh, turned the dial around 10 or 15 times go ahead and give the shade a pull to see how fast the shade is going up if you want it to go faster turn the dial another five to ten times and then check the speed and then do that in increments until the shade is the speed that you prefer then on the right side is the auto stop adjustment side to lower the pull rail you're gonna turn the dial clockwise and to uh, raise the pull rail you'll turn it counterclockwise once you've made your adjustments, you're now ready to reinstall your shade. As always, if you have any questions on how to uh, install the replacement parts, or if you have questions on placing an order, you can always reach out to us at Shadesmith. Our website is shadesmithca.com, and our phone number is 714-345-6144.